I'm just here, nice front seat. Awesome. All right. Let's get the demo going. Truck's currently on. We're just gonna go around for a drive. I'll show you the basic. Okay. Of the handling and performances of the ERX truck. I'm sure you'll see a bunch of videos and pictures about this truck already. Yes. Do you know how it compares to like 15 liter with the Cummins one? You uh, I have no idea since the 15 liter is not in our hands, so we haven't had a chance to test it. This doesn't feel like a diesel truck would normally feel, like, or like how a truck. Would well, it feels like the car. Yeah. <laughs> <It was. laughs> Very quiet. Yes, I have about six years of driving experience, and of those, three have been long haul. Okay. And the, the rest have been here and local, local work. And, and, I mean, comfortable to say that these are far superior from the driver experience? Uh, driving comfort, yes, 100%. It's a little bit of a uh, learning curve mm -hmm. to get used to the quietness of this truck and how it performs compared to a diesel. But diesel will take forever to take off. But once you get the hang of it, it's like any other vehicle, really. And it's super simple to operate compared to a manual ship. That's awesome. Yeah, brother, you're going to lose some muscle driving this, not shifting those no. gears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having to show up to the gym I know, man. three times more now. <laughs> One of the cons of driving the air, like the air at the You get too comfortable. Here we have a display, that's the way the driver communicates with the ERX and it will display some of the vital information about the system. Uh, in this case we got a generator gauge, it will tell us if the generator is on or off. And then on the center we have battery output, that indicates if the batteries are being charged or if they're using energy to propel the uh, vehicle forward. And then we got the electric motor uh, gauge on the right. Uh, it gives me an idea of what the motors are doing, either assisting, putting torque to the ground, or uh, charging the batteries on region brake. So it does uh, that all automatically, you don't have to do anything? Yeah, it's all automated. Okay. Uh, the only thing I manipulate here is the mode, so I can switch between manual EV, manual charge, and auto drive. Mm. Uh, that is the only thing I can work with. Uh, so we, we want to keep it simple for the driver, so they don't need to pay so much attention to that, unless it's um, important alert that pops up. So whilst you're driving now, has the generator kicked in at any point because it's been very quiet? Uh, no, no. This whole drive will be done on EV. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, we don't need the, the power from the generator yet since we mm -hmm. got enough charge to yeah. go about 40 miles on pure EV range. Wow. And it takes eight minutes to recharge it to full capacity? Is that what we heard? Um, at least this iteration of the truck, uh, it might take a little bit more than that. Okay. Uh, but it does not take eight hours like a regular EV plug-in. Can we do a quick burnout? We're not gonna tell Thomas. <laughs> uh, no. 
Oh, I see someone did burn out here. Yeah, that might or might not have been me, I'm not the man. <laughs> Allegedly, this truck can do a burnout. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> feels feels like it could. Somebody, uh, they have that GIF online, Lord Thomas Healy, that where mm -hmm. it shows the, just yep. the truck without the trailer doing the burnout. Yep. Is that you driving it? Uh, oh, you mean the the short little day cab? Yeah. Yep. Going on? No, that was before I started working. Oh, okay. Here. 